Hey, hey, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Ty Lord, and I am back again with more Let's Play World of Warcraft Project Ascension. This is episode 4 of my ongoing Iron Man challenge, where I'm leveling up a tune from level 1 to 60, trying to do a buffs-only build, meaning no offensive damage-dealing abilities, buffs-only, no heals, etc., etc. Y'all know the drill. I am here at Chillwind Camp in the Western Plague Lands, and we're going to go ahead and start trying to uh, quest and level up some more here in the Western Plague Lands. And then eventually, I guess we'll just head over to uh, the Eastern Plague Lands if I don't hit level 60 here in this zone, because level 52 with times 8 experience gains uh, rates on, it's entirely possible that we end up at level 60 just by doing all these quests. Uh, I'm not going to take your Argent Dom commission. I don't really care about all that. So there's really only a couple quests for us to pick up here. Clear the way is one of them. What can I do for you? Here's another one. Um, the Barav Family Fortune is actually a dungeon quest, so we can't even run dungeons doing, uh, during Iron Man mode, so we don't have to pick up that quest. And then a Plague Upon Thee, I guess, is the other one. So first, Clear the Way is like the first kind of prereq prerequisite quest, if you would call it that. For Chilbin Camp, because after you turn in Clear the Way, then um, you, you get uh, a couple other quests. Um, and the quests I'm mainly interested in are the ones that um, are going to send us to the different... to the uh, I guess you would call them the Cauldron Quests, where, where uh, they send you out to the different little farmsteads throughout the zones. And there's about five different farms littering Western Plaguelands. And the, the quests task you with... Um, Finding the Cauldron Lord at each specific farm, uh, you have to kill the Cauldron Lord, get the key to unlock uh, the Cauldron, and then um, you, you take some of the brew from the Cauldron back to Chillin' Camp, so they're trying to find like a, I guess like an antidote or some sort of, uh, they're, they're trying to make like a counteractive uh, reagent from, from the Cauldron slime, from the Cauldron brew, so I call them the Cauldron Quests. Uh, and essentially what it is is each each little farm there's about three or four quests turned in so you get the initial quest where you have to kill the cauldron lord you turn that quest in at the cauldron and then you pick up a cauldron uh, you pick up a quest from the cauldron and then turn that back in at chill one camp so there are tons of experience to be had from doing all the cauldron quests that little quest chain so that's uh, essentially what I'm going to be trying to do here uh, in this episode, first and foremost. But before we do that, we do have to clear the way. Um, which I think once we turn and clear the way, we're actually going to get some more quests to do in Anderfall. So uh, just be prepared for that. And let me show you guys. I'm actually doing my DPS is... Whoa! What is this? The stinging bow? Holy shit, this is actually great for us. We I have a bow equipped, and I'll tell you why I have a bow equipped. Because I don't have auto shoot or auto shot or anything like that. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh fuck! We've got a we've got a torn hero over there. He, he can't attack us though because uh, we're in Iron Man mode. So good luck. Um, I have a bow equipped because I need it to be able to use concussive shot. Um, but otherwise, singing bow. This is gonna increase my attack power and my agility. So that's uh, that's pretty great, right? It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, but my DPS seems to be um, a bit higher than it normally is, and I'll, I'll let you guys in on a little secret. I went ahead and grabbed, uh, let me look at, I guess, overall data. I picked up this new talent from the Combat Rogue Tree. Was it Combat or was it uh, something else? Hold on, let me look. It's in the Combat Rogue Tree. Unfair advantage. Whenever I dodge a parrying attack, I gain an unfair advantage, and I strike back for 100% of my main hand weapon's damage. Uh, this cannot occur more than once every two seconds. So it's a pretty good little boost to my DPS in total. Who's he waving to? I can't I can't attack either of these people. If they were if, if this dude was Iron Man, he could attack me. If this uh re 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 over here tries to attack me, she cannot. If it was high risk, she could, but she can't. Because I'm Iron Man. Only Iron Man can attack other Iron Man. Here's a quest uh, giver here. Marlene Redpath. Find Pamela Redpath in Daroshir. I don't know if I want to do that, but I'll pick up the quest anyway because it's a little more experience, you know? It's just, a, it's just a bit more experience. So let's go over here and kill some more mobs. I'm probably going to cut away shortly uh, so you guys don't uh, have to watch me killing all these ghouls and, and flares the entire episode. Um, so just be, be prepared 
uh, for a cutaway at any given time. I beg of you. There it is. Dang level 53. What's going on, everybody? Holy shit. We are mowing through these mobs like crazy. Um, I'm actually... My DPS is... I don't know what's the difference between last episode and now. <laughs> I can't honestly pinpoint the exact reason my DPS is so high, but... Um, you know, lightning shield, holy shield, flaming tongue attack, and fair advantage. Maybe it's just because I have this really nice weapon um, that I got last episode, which is like within my level range. It requires level 49. I'm already 43, so I'm kind of slowly out leveling it already. But it's a it's a pretty solid uh, main hand weapon. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put our points in as we usually do, stack in agility and stam at a one to one ratio, or as best as I can, try to make it a one to one ratio. Alright, so there's a level 60 over here killing all these mobs that I need to kill. So let's head back over here. And um, so next level, 53, we'll get a new ability to choose from in draft mode. But uh, I'll show you guys, I actually started putting my points into the Discipline Priest tree. Uh, I'm trying to buff uh, Improved Inner Fire. I'm trying to buff Inner Fire. So I'm putting my points into Improved Inner Fire, which is going to ultimately increase my armor. Uh, right now it's at 30%. With 3 out of 3, it'll be 45%, and it increases the charges it has on it. So now it's at 28 charges. Um, my armor reduction is at 54%. That's insanity. 54%. Never had it that high, I don't think. I've never really been a tank before, so I can't say what's the highest uh, damage reduction I've had. I only need a couple more mobs, so I'm going to kill these off, and then uh, I'll meet you guys back at Chillwind Camp. Okay, I'm back here at the Chillwind Camp. Let's go ahead and turn and clear away to Commander Ashlem Valorfist and get 40% experience. Holy shit. Uh, so the Scourge Cauldrons is a quest. Speak with High Priestess McDonald here. We also get, like I said, we unlocked a, a, an Anderhal quest uh, all along the Watchtowers, which I believe is a reference to a Prince song. Is all along the Watchtowers Prince or is it Pink Floyd? Uh, I think it's Prince, right? So the Scourge Cauldrons, let's go ahead and turn this in. And this is the first one, Fellstone Field, target Fellstone Field, yes ma'am, ma'am, yes, sir, yes, sir, what's the what's the equivalent of sir, yes, sir, ma'am, yes, ma'am. So we're going to go all the way around to Fellstone Field, I'm going to cut away, I'll probably try and cut through like the outskirts of Vanderhall, otherwise I don't actually have any ability that lets me walk on water, I think they actually disabled the shaman spell water walking for some reason, I don't know why they disabled it. If anyone knows why, they can chime in in the comments. But otherwise, I'll just have to run along the road like a like a plebeian. Um, so let's go ahead and take out this Cauldron Lord Bioma, and we're gonna have to uh, take care of these uh, this other skeletal sorcerer as well. But um, the other mob or the other the other NPC that we have to find in Stormwind, I believe her name is Old Emma. She's like a 90 year old decrepit woman who wanders around Stormwind in her in her dementia. But otherwise, let's go ahead and take take care of these mobs real quick. Otherwise, I don't think I'm gonna be doing the quest, so you don't have to worry about it. But if you, in case anyone was wondering, what's the difference between like the, what what makes him so special? He's jabbering. He's not he's not a slave. He's not slaving away, sl slavering away here at the Felstone Fields. He's just jabbering, jabbering on. So we have to kill the Cauldron Lords because he drops a key, like I said, and then we have to get right up close to this cauldron to unlock it and turn the quest in and uh, we get in return the filled fellstone field bottle and return that back to um, High Priestess McAdonnell back at Chillwind Camp so let's go ahead and do that I'll, I'll cut away right now but first ding dong baby we hit level 54 oh my gosh things are going great for us I'm gonna take repost I'm not gonna use it but man oh man this is such a great move for this build let me tell you guys um, an attack that becomes available. Oh shoot! I just I just cucked myself. Hardcore. Repost. Oh no! Repost is a no. I'm gonna unlearn it. I'm gonna unlearn it right now. Repost is a talent ability, and I don't like that. Okay, we got res redemption. That's fine. I'm okay with redemption. All right, return to chill one camp. Let's turn this in. We'll probably level. Not quite, but we did get pretty close to a level. And let's go ahead and pick up the next target. Dalson's Tears is the next one. So I'm going to cut away. And I'll meet you guys over there to do the next target quest. I like this build so far. What this build has kind of morphed into throughout uh, throughout all my leveling. Um, but I will say, the one thing that's kind of slowing me down right now 
is that I have a pretty shitty shield. Um, let's go ahead and pop last stand. Give me all this health. Look at all this health. Stop casting at me, you coward. Let's go ahead and uh, get a, get right up close to this cauldron, turn it in here, and then retrieve, the, uh, fill the uh, Dulcet Sears bottle, and we're going to return it to um, Priestess McDonald. We got to kill the Acolyte first. Kill the Acolyte. Kill the Acolyte. Stop casting spells at me. It's my only down. It's my downfall. Spell casts. No. So in each watchtower, we can actually mark these, I think, now. Uh, there it is. Tower three marked. Um, there's an elite, an, an elite skeletal warlord in each of these towers that you don't have to kill, but I'm going to because why not? Come on, baby. Give me a shield. No shield. Feels bad, man. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's go ahead and turn this quest in to High Priestess McDonald. Return to Chillwin Camp. Turn this in. Oh, we're so close to a level up. <laughs> so close to a level up, but we're not quite there. Um, I haven't finished all along the watchtowers. I almost died. I think, I'm not sure if I'm going to show you guys, or if I had shown you, or if I edited it out. Um, but I got down to about 700, 600 health out of my grand pool of 5,000, so not not great, a little scary. Uh, I kind of want to kill kill a couple of these mobs here and just to see if I can get enough um, experience to level up. The problem I've, I'm having with the Skeletal Acolytes in Anderhal are that they're spellcasters. So I can't really do a whole lot of damage to them and I don't have any way to mitigate all the spell damage I'm taking from them. Um, and they're not critting me, so I'm not getting healed up <laughs> with my Blood Craze talent, which is basically the only way I can heal myself um, outside of um, eating some food. And I don't want to eat food because I'm so close to leveling up, I figured it's probably better if I just ran over here, kill a couple mobs, uh, bada bing, bada boom, you know, get ourselves up to uh, get ourselves up to 56 that way, because when we level our health and mana, um, you know, jumps up back up to 100%. It's like a base. It's basically like a full heal and mana regen, um, just just by leveling. So one more here. You can see we're at 100%, but we're about 500 experience short. So we're just gonna just gonna kill kill another flare. And there it is. Oh, we also looted the big bad pauldrons. Holy shit! So we're 56. This dude is uh is an iron is not an Iron Man, so I don't have to worry about him trying to gank me or anything. But 50, 56, ding, dang, dong, dude, holy shit. All right, what do we get? Big bad pauldrons, they're plate. Oh, they're so good. Look at how good these are. <gasps> Whoa, dude. Wow, what do these, what do these even drop off of? I don't know, but they're good. They're real good. Strength, stam, they're plate, so a lot of armor, critical strike rating. I love them. I love them. All right, what do we get in draft mode, baby? Totemic Recall? Wow. Um, damn, I really don't want to grab Repentance because it's a talent It's a talent ability, so I'm going to be losing a talent point. You know, I'll, I'll grab it. It is a uh, it is a stun, kind of like uh, Hammer of Justice. It does have a long cooldown, um, and it doesn't quite last as long as it says. Like, it doesn't last for, um, for a whole minute. I think it lasts... For, I don't know how last how long it lasts against other playable characters, but um, oh, I'm not gonna have a fun time here in this zone. Let me tell you, these freezing ghouls don't like them. Don't like them very much, you know. Whatever. I want to repentance that dude. Shit. So I'll repentance him. Now he's stunned and incapacitated, and I'll take out this freezing ghoul. Oh man. Get up to these high level 50s, uh, high levels in the 50s, man. Let me tell you, not great in terms of my 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 DPS, my damage output isn't quite keeping up with um, how much damage I'm taking from multiple mobs at the same time. So we gotta be a little bit careful here. I'm just gonna turn it in and run away. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go ahead and mark this tower and be done with this quest. Finally, once and for all, shasha. 
Shisha! Alright, I'll meet you guys back at Chillin' Camp to turn in all these quests I have. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn in uh, all along the watchtowers. Hey, ding! I didn't. I wasn't sure if we were going to get enough experience to level up there, or if we need to also turn in uh, Return to Chillin' Camp. So we're going to return to Chillin' Camp, turn that in. We're going to get this. Oh, a nice stamina buff. Look how much Look how much health we have. That's crazy. So this is the last, I believe, of the tar of the cauldron quests. It's for Garon's Withering. Um, we can also pick up Alas Anderhal. He wants us to kill Araj the Summoner, I believe is, is his full name. Araj the Summoner and, and grab his uh, Phylactery Shard, but I don't think I can solo him. Araj is like a Spellcaster, right? And this build <laughs> is not great against Spellcasters, so I'm just going to ignore. We're going to ignore that quest. We're not going to do it. Um, after I turn, after I finish this last field, uh, is there another field? Is there a, is there a fifth field? One, two, three, four. There might be a fifth one up here. If there's not, I'll head to uh, the Eastern Plague Lands to finish up uh, like levels 58 to 60. But otherwise, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna head over to uh, Garon's Withering. We can get that uh, last quest squared away, and then uh, I'll probably end off the episode. I don't think I'll hit 60 this episode. It'll take one more episode. I'm going to stretch out <laughs> this Let's Play as long as I can. Stretch it out nice and nice and long and thick. <gasps> What's this? A new shield! Yes! So much better! Uh, this isn't the shield I was talking about, the world drop. That, that, that was an epic. That was Professor Plum. The Wall of Dead or the Skull Flame Shield are both uh, epic world drops, but Sun Sunscale Shield, I will take for sure. More armor, more stam. Fuck it, dude. Yeah, that's great. That's awesome. Once I attack the Haunting Vision, I'm also going to aggro the Cauldron Lord. So I'm going to I'm going to aggro the Haunting Vision, and then I'm going to Repentance him. And I'll go after the Cauldron Lord here. The strats, man. The strats are real. Putrid Stinch. I can't cast spell? I can't dispel this? What? What the fuck kind of bullshit is this, man? Oh, I do not like this. I do not like this debuff at all. Alright, there we go. Quest done. I'm not going to attack you. Because you're just going to cry about it. Alright, let's turn this in and get the fuck out of here. Yoink! Alright, level 58. Let's fucking go, dude. We are getting these levels like crazy. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't. I can't be attacked by that guy. Whew. That scared me for a second. That. Whew. Oh. Heart attack. Heart. Be still. My beating heart. Okay. I mean, essentially, I'm not going to play on this character um, once I hit level 60 anyway. So, this might as well. Just go ahead and do well, go ahead and do this. Give me something good. Healing wave. I wish I could use it, but I can't. But I got a talent essence back, so now I have four talent essences. I'm not sure what exactly I want to spin them on. So let's go ahead and turn this quest in. Um, watch our experience. <laughs> watch how much this is going to give us. We're at one percent right now. Turning this one quest in gives us twenty percent. That's actually not as much as I thought it was going to be. All right, so we're done. We're done here in Western Plague Lands. Essentially, there's no other quests that really we can do or that I want to do. Um, Skull of Mance is a dungeon quest. The last Andrew Hall is kill. Um, Arash the Summoner. So I guess I'll head over to the Western Plague Lands once I'm done. Um, or Eastern Plague Lands, excuse me. So I guess I'll head over to the Eastern Plague Lands next episode. This episode is all but finished. I'm just gonna hearth back to Storm One here and uh, learn new ranks for spells. Head over to a book here and we'll get all new ranks for spells, like I just said. Alright, let's go. Teach me. Redemption and healing wave even though I'm not going to use these and that's it I didn't have anything else <laughs> I didn't have any other spells like what for divine spirit or flame tongue weapon or inner fire or any of these jeez louise alrighty everybody well that's going to do it for this episode we went from level 52 all the way to 58 just by doing like 10 quests in the western plague lands I, I, now y'all know when I say I fucking love the western plague lands now you know what I mean why I love it so much. Six levels <laughs> from doing all those quests, from doing five quests. Crazy, right? Alrighty, so that's going to do it, folks. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I love you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, 
As always, I hope y'all stay classy and peace out.